How's it going everybody? I'm Drip from Driftwood Gaming and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial and it's a basic relationship system. There's a couple rules. This is a special request to Blue Shiny Dragon, uh, one of my Patreon backers. Uh, let me just show you the, the system real quick. So you're going to talk to the NPC and they give you, they present you with options. Obviously it's going to be a lot better than I love you, I like you, I want to be on you. Um, but one of them will give you a little bit of, of uh, points, one of them will give you a lot of points, and one of them will subtract some points. Um, so the I like you should give you 5 points, the I love you should give you 20 points, and if you tell the girl I want to be on you, she's going to lose 10 points. Um, the first rule is um, you can't have negative points with the person, and you start at level 1. So if you say I want to be on you, when it would normally subtract 10 points, it does nothing. But let's, uh, I will show you that it does work. So if you say I like you, it gives you five experience points. Um, but then you say I want to be on you, it takes your 10, but it doesn't go past zero. So let's get 100 experience uh, by saying I love you five times, because um, that's how you win their affection. You tell them I love you five times, and then you level up. Boom, I love you. Now the requirement to get to the next level uh, will be 200 experience. So you have to do this again, 200. Uh, to 200 experience in order to get to level 3 with the person and once again if you take a negative score um, and you're at 0 like right now we are level 3 and we have to have 300 if you get a negative 10 you can't go back uh, down to level 2 you don't de-level so that was one of the, the rules um, later on we'll be talking about how to change the title screen based on whatever you do inside here but let me show you how I did that a very simple event. The first thing we're going to be doing is um, initializing our variables. We only need to initialize one variable, um, so we're going to set an auto run trigger on a event, and um, we're going to start our love levels at one because this doesn't work if you set them at zero. Um, you start at level one. It also kind of just makes sense. So you don't really need to initialize the love experience since we're setting it to zero, but I do it in here anyway, just for whatever reason. And to make this run only one time, uh, a single time in the entire game, I'm using a control self switch A, and I'm adding a new page. So this one, uh, the first page is auto run. The second page is going to be an action button. Um, if you have the second page set to an auto run, it's going to lock up the game, so make this an action button. That's our initialization event, really simple. The event right here, it's very simple. Let me show you, it's only one thing, uh, really. It's one script call, and I've, I've commented it to make it easier to read. So you put in your flavor text when you talk to the person. Um, you'll need two variables for each person, for each different waifu or whatever relationship. You'll need one for the level and one to store the current experience. Um, so in here, I've, I've got the, the show text. Do you like me? Do you love me? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and so I'm using a couple of plugins, which um, let me actually show you the plugins I'm using to, so for this to work properly. Uh, the core engine, the message core, and the message eval text extension core, uh, extension plugin. This is from, these are all from Yan, Yanfly, and they play very well uh, in, with a lot of other plugins. Um, so you do need this message eval text if you want to do it this way, but you can present it uh, a different way. So um, you don't have to change anything, just put the core engine, the message core, and the message eval text in there, and that's all you have to do. And we only access it when we show the player um, their current like requirements. So you, you put in your text, and whenever you're showing the player what level they are, you're just going to type in a backslash V and reference the variable number of what... Um, what that is set up to be. Um, so if you have your your levels, uh, your this waifu's level is variable 50, then you would do slash v50, pretty simple. And then the next thing, we're going to show how much experience they have out of um, how much they need. And, and so to make this simple, we've made it um, 100 times the current level that they're at. So if you're at level 1, you need 100 to get to level 2, then you need 200 to get to level 3. Um, so then you're going to do backslash V, and you put in the second variable. Uh, for This is the second one, which would be how much experience you currently have. So you have the level and the experience. Those are only two variables for each waifu. And then what we're going to be doing, this slash is, is, uh, is, is actually drawn as a slash. This backslash is part of the, the message core extension plugin. So we do a backslash. We type eval text, 
and, and then we're gonna open up two brackets and then we put in our code inside of here. Inside of here, we're gonna do dollar sign game variables dot value. We put in the first one that we referenced right here and we multiply it by 100. So when this runs in the game, it's going to show whatever level you are times 100 as the requirement. In the engine, it doesn't show, but you've seen um, when we run it, it does show that. So then you show the choices for the player. Um, what do they tell the person? Uh, you know, the good, the minor point gain, the major point gain, and the um, the point loss. Let's look at the code, the meat of this entire thing. Let's take a look at the script here. We've got var l, that's game variables dot value one. Uh, this is the relationship level, and the second one we're using x for the relationship experience. And what we're doing here is we're creating temporary variables, uh, and we're storing our current level and experience into them and then we're putting the number amount that we're going to change so um, if we're going to gain five we put five if we're going to lose five we'd still put five right here the next step is going to be the actual calculation so right here um, you say i like you it gives you five points so x plus equals n so we're going to add whatever number we put for n and that's our calculation if, if this was the negative one you would just say x minus equals n and it would subtract uh, and then what we need to do is run a check to see if we are ready to level up. So we're going to make an if statement. We're going to say if x is greater than or equal to 100 times L, and we're going to put this in parentheses, the 100 times L, just so that it calculates this before it runs the check. It should anyway, but just because I'm, I want to just make sure I put it in parentheses just to make sure order of, oper order of operations takes place and says that um, 100 times your L uh, and, then, and then after it calculates that, then check to see if that is greater than or equal to X. If it is, it's we want to subtract 100 times L um, from X. Um, that way, if we gained, uh, say we gained seven experience and we were at 95, we would actually be at two experience when we level up instead of zero, like refreshing it back to zero. Now you can change this if you want, but this is using this method, it'll remember like, so if you're at 99 out of 100 and you get 10, you won't be at zero, you'll be at nine. And then what we need to do is increase our level. Now that's good and all, and we changed our temporary variable, variables, but all of this is going to be dumped. It won't be remembered uh, once this script call finishes executing. So what we need to do is store the changes back into the game variables. So we're gonna do dollar sign game variables that set value of the first variable to what we store in L. And then we change, we do the same thing for the second variable, what we stored in X. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, for the for the subtraction, so so this is a copy paste now. Once you got this written down, you copy, you paste it, uh, and you change the n. That's all you've got to change. Oops. You change n. So this one we're changing 20. Everything stays the same. You just change uh, the n to to 20. For subtraction, it's almost the same. Uh, everything is the same except for this little function right here. So now we're not subtracting our experience from our from our max experience uh, from our current. Uh, or our max from our current, but instead we're clamping it. We're making sure that when we subtract an amount, it doesn't go negative. So you'll never have negative experience with them. And if you're at level two, you don't go back to level one. Um, you stay that same level, um, but instead we want to make sure that we clamp it. So we're going to say if x is less than or equal to zero, then x is zero. And that's all you really have to do. Once again, after we do these changes, we want to store uh, L into 1 and X into 2. Of course, these numbers, variables will change depending on where you put them, but that's pretty much it. So you have the same thing uh, for whenever you want to interact with the character. If this is going to cause a slight gain in um, points, then you'd add a little bit of N, you'd run this code. If you, if you do um, some interaction with the, the character, but it would be a slight loss, then you'd run this code. And, and that's really it, and it kind of takes care of itself. So, um, Blue Shine Dragon, thank you so much for backing me on Patreon. Just big shout out to all my Patreon backers. You can back me on patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming if you'd like to make special request tutorials. That's going to do it for this quick special request. You guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel if you like tutorials like this, and uh, join us on the Discord. We'll see you guys next time.